The British seaside town of Margate was the backdrop and the traditional fairground park, Dreamland. Now in its 35th year, the Turner Prize is known for its shock value. Damien Hurst's nomination in 1992 of a tiger shark in formaldehyde was one of the decade's most controversial pieces of art. In 1999, Tracy Emin's work, My Bed, caused a storm, though it didn't actually win. But this latest shock wasn't anything to do with the art itself. Here's something quite extraordinary. At a time of political division in Britain and conflict in much of the world, the artists wanted to use the occasion of the Turner Prize to make a strong statement of community and solidarity and have formed themselves into a collective. The four nominees wrote to the judges explaining that their art is about social and political issues. Lawrence Abu Hamdan's work recreates the noises inside a Syrian prison. Oscar Murillo's is a congregation of human effigies, while Tai Shani's is described as a feminist fantasy beyond patriarchal limits. And Helen Kamuk produced a film commemorating the role of women in the Northern Irish Troubles. We each work with specific issues, we're each dealing with things that we feel very passionately about, but it doesn't mean that those things, we see them in separation from each other. For us it was important to use this platform in a specific political moment and kind of, you know, do something that would go beyond just the normal thing that happens in this prize, really. In their letter to judges, the nominees said it would feel problematic to be pitted against one another, asking if, at a time of so much division, they could instead be considered as one. The judges unanimously agreed. Rich Preston, BBC News.